All right, all right, family. Black power, black power is the true power with General Sarasun Seti. Kick back, get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be heavy. I'm excited and delighted to be accepting members to the Sarah Soon Seti YouTube page, a dynamic page. Y'all know what it is, Black Power, Black Frequency. If you're feeling that frequency and energy, you should most definitely join. Link right down in the video description is in the chat. Click that link. You get a video introduction, rundown on the memberships, what they entail. You see one you like, you should most definitely join. Even if you don't, I appreciate your presence here at the Sarah Soon Said YouTube page. Continue to engage, continue to advance. That's right, family. Ring the alarm, kingsetti.com, online marketplace, official general Sarah Soon Said DVD lectures, t shirts, tank tops, hoodies, African and comedic jewelry, holistic tonics and remedies, home decor accessory for every room in the house. I got something for your family. I know you're going to like it and love it. Get over there. Check out the catalog. Get you something nice. Get a discount. Shop and save. Save and shop. Pull the fire alarm. General SETI.com. SETI University. We talking about over 1,500 videos. Raw. 40 different subjects. All the subjects that you know and love from the general. We talking about two raw from, for YouTube. Uh, Black Illuminati. Freemasonry exposed. We talking about hip hop agenda. We talking about Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism. Exposed. We got them all lined up. We we hitting them all on the bullseye. We uh we got did we say to make another white man? If we didn't to make another uh, the white man, we got uh uh ancient Egypt. We got Ethiopia. We got uh, Omeka voyages of the Nile, Naga Kush. We got uh, the Grand Master teachers hand picked documentaries and lectures. We got so much you could just go over there and just fall into the goddamn knowledge and not be you be submerged in blackness and knowledge. There's not another website on the planet that can compare, compete. You should get over there and become a member today. I don't know why you ain't already. That's right, family. Everybody knows Seti popping on Patreon. BPC making noise. We never come. This is the live stream, live uh, lecture hall for the BPC. You get a chance to see the general go live, and you know, goddamn it, Seti live is lit. I don't know why you ain't got over there to see the general with them lectures where I stick to lecture format with visuals that's stunning, shocking, man. You know I lay it out for you. And so you should be over there. And you got 500 exclusive live streams never to be seen on any other platform while you're not over there. I want to. I want everybody out there to get over there to my rumble. I'm ready to rumble on rumble, goddammit, from the black power scholar that don't stumble or fumble. I'm on rumble, and I want you to get over there and become a subscriber member of my Rumble page, because goddamn it, I'm going to set Rumble on fire. Them goddamn Cro-Magnum Neanderthals going to hate the day I showed up over there. To all my family out there, donate to the general. I thank you. I appreciate the fact you appreciate me. Any of the family out there would like to donate to the general, please hit that link down in the video description and the chat. Click it. Donate. I thank you ahead of time. Make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channels, King Seti, General Seti, Sarasun Seti. Rock that notification bell. Get a video or thumbs up. Like it because you love it. Share it with your family and friends. And comment, comment, comment. Just don't say nothing stupid because I will. And Ray will get you. And the rest of the brothers will get you. And, and God damn it, it's all over. Boop, your ass up out of here. Now, we're going to talk about OJ. Uh, uh, Johnny Cochran, how do you, Johnny Cochran been damn near dead over 20 years and they still up there on, on the internet and, and they still fuming. They still fuming right now because you understand what I'm saying? They did what, you know, did it, the inevitable. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, Johnny Cochran, a masterful, a masterful, probably the greatest, uh, uh, you understand, defense attorney in the history of the goddamn United States. That's right. That's right. That's right. I appreciate any of the family. You understand what I'm saying? We got a lot of sh things I'm putting up there, man. I believe you me. You just get lost. You see, I pick all the hand pick. I pick hand pick all the documentaries and everything. And so if I put it on there, I know it's something. 
that you need to have that's going to take you to the next level. And so, yeah, we talking about uh, OJ didn't pass. He was 76 years old. The boogeyman, OJ, you know, walking like goddamn Frankenstein and shit. And so, yeah, he, the boogeyman, uh, Johnny Cochran, you understand, two black men. And like I say, you know, I don't uh, condone no type of wrong, but goddamn it, whatever happened, I, you know, I, I believe that it was more shit going on in that situation that they did not want to talk about. And at the end of the day, if they could have hung OJ, they would have. You see what I'm saying? They just think that, you know, they, you know, they should be able to do whatever the hell they want to, to black people. You understand what I'm saying? You know, they lock a nigga up, throw away the key. You understand? Locking up people that ain't even goddamn guilty. You understand? They've been lynching our people over here for goddamn 500 goddamn years. You understand? None of our people ever got any kind of justice. You see, and never got any justice. Sandra Bland didn't get no justice. Uh, Trayvon Martin didn't get no justice. You see, and so here it is. They think that they supposed to be able uh, uh, to lock, you know, black people up any chance they get without no evidence. All these people that being let out of jail after 40 years, 30 and 40 years, where they didn't lock them up, and then after 40 goddamn years, they find out that uh, they was innocent. You see? And how many how many of our people, they, they didn't put in the goddamn electric chip that was innocent? You see what I'm saying? And so here it is, you know, they don't want it to be where, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, where we got in there. We, we all right in there. That's right, family. Peace, appreciate you. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, he was a sellout, but goddamn it don't make no damn difference. We talking about, uh, uh, you know, being able to get over on, get, get a win on the beats. Okay. Being able to get a win on the beats. You see, you know, you know, we understand that he was, he was, but goddamn it, he got over. And at the end of the day, you understand what about the, cause this speaks not only to old Jack. It speaks to, uh, uh, you know, if a motherfucker be cool, if a motherfucker be a cool, we understand that. We understand that. But does that mean that a motherfucker supposed to be able to take your life? You understand? I mean, because what we're talking about is that they doing this across the board. And motherfuckers ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? And they still locking them up. You see what I'm saying? Throwing away the goddamn key. We talking about Trayvon Martin. We talking about a 16 year old where a motherfucker George Zimmerman killed that boy and got away with it. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, how many of them sick motherfuckers? There's something wrong with they ass, but they, they able to get away with a murder. They were, they able to get away to, with a murder. You see what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, it's uh, in front of the world. You see, the head is, goddamn it, they be Rodney King ass on in HD. They beat his ass in HD and they was able to damn to get away with it. You see what I'm saying? And so what we saying is bigger than OJ. It's bigger than OJ. You understand what I'm saying? They believe that if your ass go up in the courtroom, you understand what I'm saying? That you, uh, you know, they're just like, you know, uh, wh wh white people back in the 60s, the whole goddamn jury was white. You understand? Nigga couldn't get a, get a fair trial. They was all, your ass was already guilty before you got to the goddamn courthouse. You see, the motherfuckers that killed, uh, 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 what's his name? Out of Chicago. His, his name is, 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 uh, 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 what's the young brother that, they, that they hung? That's right, Ray, I already know. You did, uh, what's that young brother that came out of Chicago that went down there to uh, Mississippi? Start with an E. It's, it's slipping my mind, so. M.E.T. That's right, M.E.T. M.E.T. You understand what I'm saying? M.E.T. And, and, and what about, uh, 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 what about Rosewood? You understand what I'm saying? What about Rosewood? Huh? What about, uh, uh, what about, uh, Black Wall Street, huh? What about Black Wall Street and so many other streets where they didn't hung our people and, and innocent? You see, got away with it. Nobody charged. Burned the whole Black Wall Street down. 
jealous. Number jealous. The roads were burned it down. What's that other over there in Florida? Man, I had that other got man so many goddamn uh cities that they didn't destroy, ran the people out. I forget the name of that city. E Elaine, I believe it was Elaine down there. Elaine, where they ran the people out of there and, and ran them out of their homes, took over their homes. You understand what I'm saying? Took over their homes, moved in the homes. And did you, it wasn't no black people in Elaine of Florida, I believe it was Florida, for damn near 50 years after that. You see, all because a black man was, you know, uh, you know, he was mobilizing the uh the black people to uh 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 yeah, yeah, Tenny too. Yeah, I remember that little brother, 16, what was he? Was he 14, 15 years old? Yeah, did they put him in an electric chair? Put him in an electric chair. How sad. How sad they these motherfuckers think that they could do this shit to us. You see what I'm saying? You understand the retribution is coming back so hard. Uh, you understand what and it's, it and it's righteous, righteous retribution. You know, and so they don't feel that no 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 black man should be able to be free from their murderous uh, 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 lynchings, whether it's in the courtroom. Where man, I had the goddamn book four hundred years of lynching, whichever one it was, and they would just come on. They would come into the uh yeah. Yeah, we know he was out there. You know, he, you know, they, uh, they would just come to the goddamn court, to the uh, jailhouse, and goddamn just snatch the people up out the jail. And the goddamn sheriffs would let let them they walk out and act like they ain't see shit. Keys in there on the wall. They pulled the black man clean out the goddamn cell in lynching. You understand what I'm saying? In front of forty. Do y'all understand 30, 40,000 people? You see what I'm saying? That's why when they get to talking about, oh, a few, it was just, it was a goddamn lie. They would come out 30, 40 goddamn thousand to see black people lynch, man and woman. Set them on fire. You see what I'm saying? And you motherfucking niggas is, is right next to their grandchildren and their great grandchildren right now today. You see what I'm saying? And you talking about that's your friend. I tell you what, I tell you what, any of them, your, if they say your, they your goddamn friend and ask them, did your, did your great grandmammy and grandpappy go out there to see uh, black people burned and lynched and shit? Cause it was 30, 40,000 people. They would come from goddamn states, all different kinds of states. This shit was like the great sporting event of that day and age. You see what I'm saying? When motherfuckers would come two, three states over. You see what I'm saying? Out there getting souvenirs. They out there handing out goddamn postcards and shit of lynching. You can go out there, get you some postcards, and they mailing this shit in the mail with dead Africans hanging from trees. You understand? Babies. They was lynching babies, man, uh, young boys and girls. I seen one that had a tree with nothing but young black boys and girls hanging from the tree. I said, what kind of demon, straight devil? You understand what I'm saying? No mercy. You can't look for no mercy from no demon like that. You see what I'm saying? So they look at OJ, which is, you know, is the, is the modern candy man. I told motherfuckers, you understand what I'm saying? I told on one video, I told white people, I dare y'all motherfuckers to go in the bathroom and turn the light out and say OJ name three times. I remember when we was young, we would go in the goddamn uh 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 in the bathroom. We used to say Bloody Mary. Yeah, you motherfuckers say go in the in the bathroom and turn the lights out and look in the mirror and say Bloody Mary three times. You motherfucker be in there, and motherfucker. And, and you know, you be in there with you know, and everybody and motherfucker make a noise. Ah, motherfuckers will try to break out the goddamn bathroom and shit. Motherfucker fall and bust their goddamn head on the toilet stool trying to get out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And then somebody, I know motherfuckers when we was young, my, my, my uncles and shit, man, with they scandalous ass. Or take you and throw you in the goddamn closet and, 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 and hold the door so you couldn't get out of it. And the nigga in there damn near didn't have a heart attack. <laughs> 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 
motherfucker in there then just watch the exorcists and shit and then they soon as the movie over they ready to act stupid and throw your ass in the goddamn closet and you can't get out the motherfucker you in there hollering like a motherfucker yeah they lucky goddamn it because i'm ready to if they know goddamn it i ought to kick some ass for that right now but i'm gonna have mercy on them now you understand what i'm saying yeah but and so, you know, they just think, you know, we talking about a masterful, you know, Johnny Cochran. They, I see them, they still hate Johnny Cochran. I see all time, and I'm glad. God damn it, I'm glad. God damn it, I'm going to go get me, I'm going to motherfucking make some Johnny Cochran motherfucking shirts, nigga. Fuck OJ, I ain't going to put it because I know he was a cool, but God damn it, I don't give a, you know, fuck it. It's, it that, that's for everybody. They ain't just for his ass. That's for everybody. You understand what I'm saying, motherfucker, you know, yeah, motherfucker, you ain't gonna have your fun today. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't gonna have your fun today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, we it's one win for black people. Regardless, you know what I'm saying? Let's have a win. Let's put one in the car in the column and so you can see these motherfuckers, you know, with you know, just the hate. You understand, Dri dripping from their pores and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I look on goddamn Rumble and they got all type of videos talking about how Johnny Cochran, how many motherfucking lawyers or uh, y'all stinking ass that went up there and lied and locked, locked black people up that was innocent, motherfucker? I mean, who argued them cases? Who, what, what prosecutors went up there with that faulty motherfucking information and locked up innocent black people but they want to talk about johnny cochran but they don't want to talk about none of them filthy ass cro magnum neanderthal prosecutors that locked up black people for no reason at all innocent why they didn't get disbarred you should be disbarred to take somebody to get your ass up there and lie like you did you understand it, it, it didn't take much to con convince an all white goddamn jury do you understand what I'm saying? They ready to see a nigga lynch. They ready to see a nigga go to the electric, the electric chair. You see what I'm saying? Just like they ready to come out. See, they got the love of your know, pain and suffering in their heart. You see, they got the love of pain and suffering. When one get away from them, you see what I'm saying? It gives the a precedent that we can win. You understand what I'm saying? That we can win some cases, even though they ain't getting the kind of time that, you know, uh, you know, black people's is getting for a lot of these goddamn uh, uh, crimes. You see? Yeah. Yeah. I, I you know, it, I don't see them getting the kind of uh, uh, the time, you know, they be giving them like, you know, seven years and shit. Motherfucker be out in three years. I believe in righteous retribution. I believe in righteous retribution. Yes, I do. You understand what I'm saying? I don't let that, you know, fuck all that. I believe in righteous retribution. I believe in karma. I believe what your ass give out, you get back. What about George Zimmerman? Huh? What about George Zimmerman? Y'all you, want to talk about uh, 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 OJ? What about George Zimmerman with his punk ass? You understand what I'm saying? Kill a 16-year-old black boy. You hounding that young boy, and that young boy just trying to get home. You know what I'm saying? He trying to get home. He tired. He ready to get home, lay down, eat and shit. And you hounding him. He just, he going to his 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 father's house, and you kill that boy. You shot that boy down like a dog. You see, and he's still walking around trying to sell the gun, auctioning the gun off and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And shame on us for for not you know. Where's the uh, uh, righteous uh, retaliation for something like that? You know what I'm saying? You can't just kill our babies and get away with it. You see? You know, they, and, and I mean, they believe they can do any goddamn thing to us and that there will be no retribution. You know, and that's where we fall short now. That's where we fall short. That's where we fall short. Because when we want to go in on each other, when we want to go in on each other, we don't spare the sword. We don't spare the goddamn sword. We don't. We don't. We go straight for the head when it come to our own. But then when it come time when a motherfucker do something to our baby, motherfuckers, where you at? 
Nigga, where the, where the, where the, where the drill? All them niggas on the drill video. Where you at, nigga? Where, 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 where all them goddamn things y'all niggas got on the video? Where they at? Why the motherfuckers ain't popping then? Where, what the, where, where you at? We need you, nigga. You say you about that life. You say you this, you that in the, in, in the third, but then when we need you, you know where to be found. You see? So we, it, we, 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 we got to do better. You see, if they thought, if they thought, let all them niggas see, they don't fear them niggas. Because they know that they ain't going to whip them guns out on nobody but they sell. Yeah, every, you know, every now and then, but that's a every now and way, but every now and then. You understand what I'm saying? But for real, for real, when it come down time to, you know, motherfucker in the house, and then motherfucker hiding behind the curtains and shit. You understand? Motherfucker in there laying on the floor, under the bed, under the covers, hiding, nigga. You ain't no, you ain't no goddamn soldier then. You ain't no gangster then. Yeah, you hiding behind the goddamn when the motherfucker come knock on the door, nigga, ready to serve the warrant. You know where to be found. Don't open the door. You understand what I'm saying? But when it come to time to pillage black people, you niggas is everywhere under, you know, on the, every corner, around every corner, hiding and ambush, ready to ambush your own people. Yeah, man, that's where we at today. But if they thought that niggas had any type of militancy and love for they self, man, they, these motherfuckers would be terrorized. You understand if they if these niggas would have any type of energy, you understand that they have on all these goddamn videos for black liberation and, and upliftment. God damn it, it. These motherfuckers be petrified to come down there and, and do and fuck with our people. Anybody. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, I don't condone no form. Of, of 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 unnecessary violence, but it's far past the time for black people to get retribution, righteous retribution for what's been going on with our people for since we've been in this wicked ass nation. I do believe that. You see, and so you know, when I I just watched Johnny Cochran the other day, man, classic shit, classic shit. I like that. I man, I was gonna play that motherfucker. I ain't got my video. You see what I'm saying? He had the hat on, man. Masterful. You see what I'm saying? They say, this motherfucker, OJ. This motherfucker can be this one of the most recognizable men in the United States of America. You see, motherfuckers see this man any goddamn where they're going to recognize him. So when you see that man sitting over there and they, and then Johnny Cochran put the hat on his head, he said, God damn it, what? Who is OJ with a with a hat on his head? OJ, yeah, you, that motherfucking hat ain't gonna change the fact that you can see that's OJ. Then you can't. That ain't no disguise. They say he disguising himself, which is true. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't shit. You know they recognize your ass, nigga. You shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no motherfucking OJ. Motherfucker recognize me. I, I I was motherfucking. I done been all over the United States, man. I done been places I didn't think a nigga knew me. You understand what I'm saying? And man, I, I swear to God, man, I was in goddamn a uh, Canada. You see what I'm saying? I was in motherfucking Canada, in uh in a goddamn suburb, a goddamn Toronto. Goddamn it, I was. I didn't even think no niggas was in the whole goddamn area. You understand what I'm saying? And I was in, you know, I think I was in the mall or something. And I was just walking around. It wasn't even really nobody in the motherfucker. But, I, you know, I ain't had nothing to do. And so I just wanted to go and see what it looked like. It was empty. And, man, I was just a third. I was on the third floor. And a motherfucker came out of nowhere like, Saturday, is that you? And I look, I say, I, I can't believe this shit, man. I'm damn near at the North Pole. And a motherfucker came out. And recognize me. And, and you can't hide your face, nigga. You can't hide your face with a scully. Nigga, nigga gonna recognize you. So if this if this man was trying to hide, he wasn't doing no good goddamn job. You see what I'm saying? So goddamn it, don't say that the man was trying to sneak in his house. Everybody over there know what he what he looked like. Everybody, the man been living in this goddamn house for 10 years. So if, if anybody see that man come to that house, that scully 
is not going to hide the fact that that's OJ. You see what I'm saying? And, and took the goddamn glove and say, nigga, here, put this glove on. Nigga couldn't even put the goddamn glove on. You see what I'm saying? Motherfucker, the goddamn glove was, it came up to his damn palm. This man got hands probably like a goddamn gorilla. You understand what I'm saying? This nigga got gorilla hands, and he, he got this little ass glove trying to spit. God damn it, if it, if it do not fit, you must acquit. If it do not fit, you must acquit. What it was that they was dope fiends, and they didn't fucking sniff that man money up, and they got them in there, and she, and she, yes, yeah, she's a whore, and then she, you understand, in there sniffing that man money up, and that man, that she didn't, uh, uh, got a, a fucking, a debt, God damn it, probably ten, twenty thousand. She done sniffed up ten, twenty thousand dollars worth of goddamn coke. And that man didn't pay it. She over there tiptoeing with the goddamn waiter and shit, and they sniffing that man money up. And god damn it, and when and in and, and the and the and the drug and, and, and the drug dealer say, God bitch, you ain't got my money in, in two days. Uh, 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 your ass and that motherfucking waiter is dead. You understand what I'm saying? And she went to OJ and OJ knew she had been creeping. Bitch, you ain't getting the doctor. Locked her out of all the accounts and shit and this, that, and the third. And that motherfucker came over there to get his paper and they didn't have that man paper and he left their ass in there. That's what happened. That's what happened. You see what I'm saying? Because the goddamn, uh, 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 the motherfucking policeman might have been creeping with her ass. Oh, uh, um, what is that? Furman. You understand? Well, everybody in the whole goddamn area probably was creeping with her ass. And so he over there got on, on audio talking about nigga, 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 platting shit and everything. And that's a fact. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's a fact. So yeah, everybody out there know them goddamn L.A. police, how they beat Rodney King ass. They ain't nothing but nasty motherfuckers. They plant, they racist. They'll throw something on your ass quick, fast, in a hurry. It don't take nothing to throw something in your backseat. Oh, nigga, what is this? Oh, oh, what's this in your trunk? That wasn't in there. Bitch, shut up and hit you over the head with the goddamn baton and all of that. You see? Yeah. Yeah, they was drugged. They was dope fiend. They was sn sniffing more goddamn coke than the law law. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why the man was over taking care of business. He over there creeping in the man mansion and shit and this, that. And they got, and they got a damn $20,000 goddamn debt. And them people I, in LA, they ain't going to play with you, nigga. You, you didn't sniff that. We want our motherfucking money. And so he knew that he not paying you. You've been creeping on me and every fucking thing else. Bitch, you're done for. You better go call your, your daddy or whoever you can to pay that. And, and she could not get that money. He, that the waiter with his punk ass only get minimum wage. He couldn't get it. And so, God damn it, they came over there, the, the mafioso, Mexican mafia, and cleaned their ass up. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? He didn't pay that goddamn debt. That's what happened. You see? It's, I mean, because if you could get the motherfucker, you would have got him. What motherfucking nigga do you know that America let get away if if they had him? If they had him, then you know what I'm saying? But the masterful Johnny Cochran showed the obvious in front of the world. He did not lie. He did what he was supposed to do. You understand what I'm saying? They want to talk about Johnny Cochran lie, but what about all them lying ass white lawyers that locked all them innocent black people up for 40 years to find out that they was innocent. What about, didn't they lie? But they, they ain't talking, no, none of these white people out here talking about them lying ass lawyers. And I'm not saying that goddamn Johnny Cochran was lying, but if they saying that a, a lawyer lied, goddamn it, when you pay a lawyer, he supposed to fucking represent you, okay? That's what he's supposed to do, and he did his motherfucking job masterfully, goddamn it, I'm gonna get some goddamn Johnny Cochran t-shirts, goddamn it, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna get the one where he got the hat on his head, and I'm gonna put on there, goddamn it, if it don't, if it don't fit, you must quit. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's a class. you got, that's a, that's a classic, you got to bring that back, if it don't fit, you must quit. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, OJ, Johnny Cochran. But I, I salute Johnny Cochran. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, the nigga you love to hate. You see, the nigga you love to hate. All right, family, I appreciate y'all being here with me. We we still rocking the house. Don't you go no goddamn where. I want y'all to hit some of them links. I want y'all to support the general. We got to stay up here, family. We got to do this work. We got to have this kind of voice on the internet. We got to have this kind of voice on the internet. You understand? Unequivocally, black power, unapologetically, black power, General Sarah Soon said he, arm yourself with knowledge, bang on that wicked ass beast daily, liberation through African education and confrontation, black power.